Hi friends, and welcome to this week's video. So since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I had a really fun idea um, for this week's video. I'm going to be styling outfits based off of rom-com characters that I absolutely love and I think are iconic. And I'm going to be wearing an outfit every day of this week. So I'm super excited for this. I actually planned it out and um, I have a lot of fun things in mind. Um, a few of the days I will be just staying home. Um, so I'll just be like housewifing it up as a rom-com, but I will be going out <laughs> some days as romantic comedy characters and some of them might look a little silly, but I am excited to show you guys um, the outfits I put together. So I just did this based on characters that I love and movies that I love to watch over and over and over again. And I also considered like the, the most stylish or the most iconic outfits um, from these movies um, and also just based on like what I had so I could do a true inspiration outfit. Um, so that's where the idea of the video came from and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So I hope you enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun planning it. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm actually doing um, some fun um, outfit and fashion stuff on there as well. So go ahead and check that out. I do post all the time on both of those and yeah, let's jump into this super fun video. Also, comment down below what your favorite romantic comedy um, movie is. If you don't like them, just comment your favorite movie. Okay, let's jump into the first character. So today is Monday and we are in San Diego. And as you saw me preparing um, in the little clips before, um, I am wearing an outfit inspired by Meg Ryan from When Harry Met Sally. I think it's like the ultimate rom-com. It's in like my top 10 favorite movies. I love it and I wanted to do an outfit inspired by Meg Ryan. So today on Monday, I am wearing um, an outfit inspired by Sally from When Harry Met Sally. We're at a um, resort, the Bahia, Bahia Resort. And um, yeah, I don't know. I picked a crazy week kind of to do this video, but I'm excited and this outfit is so comfy. So let's go through this outfit. And I love Meg Ryan. I love this movie. I love her in this movie. I think she's so beautiful and wonderful. Okay, so for my Sally look for when Harry met Sally, I'm inspired by her look when she meets up with Harry in the bookstore. It's more casual look, but she looks flawless regardless. Um, her style changes throughout the movie. So, um, I was happy to do this look because I kind of could mimic it um, pretty pretty close. I at least have a lot of the pieces, kind of. Um, so I have an orange turtleneck. I know hers is like a red turtleneck sweater. This is the closest I had, um, but it is textured in the same way like a sweater is, and I think it's pretty close. And then on the bottom, I just have my um, good American Zara jeans. Her jeans in this look are dark wash. I don't own dark wash jeans, but she does have um, the same sort of cut. Um, and these are straight leg on the bottom, which is what was popular at the moment. Um, and I just rolled my jeans up because I felt like that was like 
put, putting my own twist on this style, um, her jeans would not be rolled up. So maybe I should just unroll them. Uh, I don't know. And then um, she does have the coolest corduroy blazer. It's like a dark brown corduroy blazer on top of her sweater. I do not have that. I wish I did. It's really like of the times um, for now. I mean, for the movie, of course. I mean, she was stylish in the movie, but very of the times now. Um, so I just have this like teddy bear, um, like light brown jacket. And the reason I picked it is because the cut is kind of the same of the blazer she's wearing and then the collar too. So it gives off the, at least kind of the same sort of style. And then on the bottom, she's wearing like short, um, like boots, almost like Chelsea boots. I am just wearing my Madden girl black booties. They have a small heel. So I feel like it kind of goes with the same vibe. And then she has a tote bag across her shoulder that she is bringing because she's going to a bookstore. Makes sense. Um, so I just have, or she has like a saddle bag, a big saddle bag. Um, so I just have my um, my Marc Jacobs tote bag that I liked because it, it like kind of goes really well with this outfit. And also I can do the same sling um, shoulder thing to make it kind of like a saddle bag um, like she does to kind of get the same look. And yeah, so this is my first romantic comedy character outfit. And this is Sally from um, When Harry Met Sally. So I did say I'm gonna spend the day dressed like Sally from When Harry Met Sally. So I am going to now walk around the hotel I'm in for a little bit. Let's go. Desperately wish I could do my hair the way she does, but it's just too long and I'm not cutting my bangs. I'm not doing it. Somebody's listening to teardrops on my guitar by Taylor Swift. Are you okay? And okay, so you might know this movie for two things. There's one that is like my favorite line in the whole movie, which is near the end when Harry runs up to Sally, and spoiler alert, but this movie's been out forever, and also is a romantic comedy. He says he loves her on New Year's Eve, and Sally's basically like, no, you can't just say you love me because you're lonely, yada, yada, yada. And he says, you know, when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want it to start right now, and literally, tears to my eyes. Two is, the scene when they're talking about faking it during you know what and they're at a cat's deli in New York and she does the famous O oh scene and she's like that's faking it and the old lady's like I'll have what she's having that's that's the second scene I love Sally I love this character this outfit was so much fun to wear so I'm glad I did it and I love I already love this week of wearing outfits inspired by romantic comedy characters and movies. So I'll catch you tomorrow on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So today's outfit is inspired by Laura Jean Covey from To All the Boys I've Loved Before. So I absolutely loved these books and these movies. The character style is so like today's romantic comedy style. She wears a lot of bright colors, a lot of fun patterns, a lot of just like really, really cute outfits throughout all three of the movies. Um, I picked one to be inspired by and kind of went off of like what she normally wears um, as a style. And so that ended up being a cream or white 
turtleneck and um, I do have a corduroy button-up skirt which is almost identical to something Laura Jean wears in the movies and then I paired it I'm gonna put a picture up here of my inspiration um, and then I paired it with my high top um, Nike blazers because she wears a lot of high top shoes and boots um, so I thought these were perfect for this outfit because she likes to um, mix aesthetics yeah so this is the outfit for today I'm going to be walking around um, in San Diego more and then be back here at home um, but yeah, this is totally something that Laura Jean would wear, and I almost look exactly like the picture. Again, she does like a lot of patterns, though. She likes a lot of plaid, a lot of yellow, and bright colors as well, and like flower patterns, and I wanted to do something um, that she would be seen wearing um, like every day, or almost every day, so the inspiration is based off of that, but... I actually think this outfit is so cute and it is very much me. Um, I think a lot of my style aesthetic and what I personally would love to wear is what she wears as well. And I love that because I would love to be a romantic comedy character. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit for today. And let's go live as Laura Jean. But I'm not going to be writing any letters. <laughs> So I'm in my Laura Jean Cubby inspired outfit. Um, I'm back with the seals and I got an iced white mocha. It's the special at the Streamline um, Cafe back there. It's delicious. Hi, I'm Ashley Jane, and this is Caesar, and we are not Gemini vegetarians. He's actually a Pisces, which is why he acts the way he does, and I'm a Libra. <laughs> but if that doesn't hint at what today's character is, then I don't know what else will. Okay, happy Wednesday, everyone. So today, I am doing an Elle Woods-esque outfit. Now I don't have enough pink um, like tops to really get the vibe of Elle Woods to do a full pink outfit, but I feel like this is a super cute outfit and um, very much in her, I'm going to Harvard um, to get a law degree because I want to vibe. Um, so I just have this cider skirt on the bottom and on top I just have like a short sleeved sweater top. Um, I felt like it looked really cute together and also again gave like a lawyer vibe. Um, and then on the bottom, which you can't really see, I just have some heels that are different colors. Um, I will zoom in and show you that. But, um, and then I just have a little bit of pink and white jewelry here to match. And then um, on my eyes, I just did like pink glitter to match the skirt. I just feel like this is totally Elle Woods vibes. I love that movie. I love the character. Her determination is amazing. She's literally like, her dad's like, why do you want to go to law school, honey? You don't need to, you're pretty. And she's like, because I want to, basically. So... And then she gets in, which is incredible. Um, but that movie series is amazing. And um, I had to include it in this rom-com week because it's one of the best rom-coms to ever exist. So, you know, and Reese Witherspoon kills it. And also Elle Woods has an amazing style and I wish I could copy it. I just really don't have enough pink. But this is my Elle Woods inspired outfit and um, I'm not really going to be leaving the house much today, so we're going to be doing some chores in um, our little Elle Woods outfit.
So today's look is inspired by one of my favorite movies and favorite characters um, in all romantic comedies. Um, I'm dressing as Jenna Rink from 13 Going On 30. Now this look is inspired by, because it's not exact, of course, um, but I think it's pretty close. So, um, if you don't know, 13 Going On 30 is one of the best, 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 best romantic comedies to ever exist. And this particular outfit is from when Jenna wakes up as a 30 year old woman after wishing to be 30 on her 13th birthday. And she is in like a nightgown and she's in an apartment of a man she doesn't know. And she has to run out the door to work very quickly. So she runs out in her nightgown, throws on her jacket, throws on the last shoes she had, grabs her bag and goes. So, I have this dress from Wild Fable that it's an actual dress, but it kind of looks enough like, like her little nightgown that I thought it was fitting. Hers is like hot pink um, with some lace. So this one is just a light pink with flowers with some lace up here. It is very fitting and actually a good length to be like her dress. Um, and then I just threw on this Zara jacket. Hers is, I think it's like light pink um, or white with some thread on the edges, but this is the about the same length. Um, and actually, I think for a, a good color um, for this outfit, um, especially with my shoes and my bag. Um, my shoes, which you can't see right now, are um, a new day. They're these little um, sandal shoes with a small heel um, because she totally has um, some silver ones that are kind of like this, but they're like a flip-flop heel shoe. I don't have that, but this is the closest thing I have and is probably the same kind of like um, tall, same, same heel that she had on. And then I just have my Marc Jacobs little um, shoulder bag because she has a little pink shoulder bag to go with her outfit. And yeah, I think this is super, this actually ended up being super cute and matches pretty well. Um, she definitely rocks it. And then for my makeup, I just have a little bit of eyeshadow on just because um, I wanted a little bit on, but she doesn't have anything on. And I have mascara as well. And then my hair is just like my natural hair out the shower because hers is like rolled out of bed hair. So this is the complete look and yeah, it's pretty stylish for this time actually. Like I feel like last year, like girlies would have eaten this up. So we're going to now go to Build-A-Bear in this outfit because I have a little Valentine's date with my friends. But um, I think Build-A-Bear is very fitting for this character as well because she's 30 but 13 in her brain. So let's go be Jenna Rink. <laughs> so it kind of like the dinosaur. And of course, Baby Yoda, Grogu. Okay. <laughs> the turkey's on sale, but I kind of love it. But I'm getting this pink bear. Friday guys so if it's not obvious today I am Regina George stop trying to make fetch happen Gretchen 
that's who I am today. Um, so she does have a, she has a tank top kind of like this that has words written on it. So I just used my pretty basic content baby content um, tank top. And then I just put a pink cardigan over it and a black leather skirt. This is the inspo. I kind of look close and then I just have a black kitten heel on um, because she has a like a flip flop heel shoe thing on. And this is the look. Um, again, today is date night, but we're doing an at home date night. So we're making chicken wings, homemade. So Regina George is gonna be a housewife tonight. And then we're gonna be watching you. So I don't know if I'll get much content in this uh, outfit, but here is the full thing for ya. Okay, and this leather skirt is from Target. This is also from Target. And, the, and again, this is from Pretty Basic. My God, I forgot to add the best part. I have my little Marc Jacobs purse. I wish it was pink, but this is like what she was wearing to the mall that day. So I'm literally Regina George. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was super fun and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to like find outfits and inspiration for these characters, probably because I've seen the movies a million, a million times. Um, I was able to just tap into that. And also I have a lot of unique style pieces from each of these characters. Um, or at least like what I think in my head about fashion and what I like to wear. And I think that maybe stems from that I love romantic comedies and I love romantic comedy characters. I also just love love. And I think that's a big theme um, around a lot of romantic comedy characters, especially the main ladies from these um, from a lot of these movies and a lot of romantic comedies do dress in that, that way that you just, you know, there's a romantic comedy style. There's a main characterness, and you know, just a, a a romantic comedy character, especially the ones from like New York with their long jackets and things like that. So I think I just am like that personally, and it might have been shaped by the fact that these are my favorite types of movies to watch. Even though they're not all good, I still love to watch them and find them super entertaining. I love romantic comedies. I just have such a fun time watching them, and sometimes I wish I lived in one because I just love love so much. Might be the labor in me. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below if you liked any of the outfits or if you had a favorite one or a favorite character um, that you'd like to recreate as well. It was so easy for me to just really come up with this idea because I love doing videos like this. So I will probably continue to do videos um, surrounded around movies um, because I love movies. I'm such a movie movie gal. I go see a movie almost every single week. So this was super fun for me to do and I love analyzing characters and fashion in this way. So please follow my Instagram and TikTok. I do post there every single day and subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more. Um, clearly there's boxes and stuff in the back. I just moved so I will have a moving vlog coming up very, very soon. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you soon, friends.